This is going to be one of those videos where you get to see me really tired because I'm going for a new record attempt up this pretty extreme hill here. And I guess I did not choose the optimal conditions for this record attempt. It's pretty icy, slippery and cold today. So follow along to see how it goes and during the video I will also share some of my best tips on how to run fast up steep hills. Hello and welcome to a new video and welcome to my newly renovated office space here. So when I sat down and edited my last video I realized that it was about time to do something about how this place looks. So me and Elin bought this house uh, last autumn and we have done a lot of work to it. There was uh, a need of a lot of renovations to make it look uh, proper. But I've been putting off uh, doing this uh, room that is my office space. But last week I got to it and I must say I'm very happy with the results. And hopefully the videos that I record here will look uh, a bit nicer uh, for you guys as well. But today is not going to be one of those videos where I sit down here and talk. Because I thought it was about time for me to go out in the nature and push my physical limits. It was way too long ago since I recorded one of those videos where I go out and hunt down a really cool Strava course record. And on this island where we live there's a really cool and extremely steep trail up a mountain. So here we have the course. It's only 450 meters but it has an elevation of 123 meters resulting in an average grade of 27.6% which is pretty insane. The current course record is 5 minutes and 50 seconds. We want to take a break here and... <laughs> And run up a really icy mountain instead. Ah, uh, yeah. That sounds way better. <laughs> Shit job. So this is the last room we're doing. And then we're done with all the rooms in the house. Mm. But it's more Except fun to... Except the kitchen. Except the kitchen. Mm. But it's more fun to run up an icy mountain, right? Yep. Okay, so let's go. We can do this later when it's dark outside. In order to even get up that icy trail, I'm going to need some shoes with metal studs. So this will hopefully help me get up that trail. Ah! You know this will be really painful, right? Yeah, but it's winter wonderland, so everything's fine. Down there we have the start, so it's pretty steep here. Are you ready? <laughs> While I'm warming up and getting ready for this record attempt up the hill, I thought I would share two tips on how to tackle steep trails uh, like this in the best way and get to the summit as fast and efficient as possible. So the first tip is to take short steps. From my experience, you fatigue your legs a lot faster if you try to take long steps up the hill like this. Instead, you should take really short but fast steps that will get you faster to the top and your legs won't fatigue as fast. So, small steps like this. So my second tip is to not always run. When the hill gets really steep, like we see here, it's often a lot more efficient to walk. And then I don't walk normally, I use a special power hike technique. So what I do is that when I put down my foot in the ground, I also put down my hands right above the knee. And then I use my hand and my arm to push down to help my legs out a bit. So it looks something like this. We're at the bottom now at the start of the course at the steep climb that starts directly behind us here. And Elin will do her attempt first and then I will go after her. So are you ready Elin? Um, no. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. So I looked up that the woman's course record is 7 minutes and 38 seconds. Yeah. I have absolutely no reference point for this, so I honestly have no idea how it will do. Yep. You never feel ready for <laughs> these kinds of things, but you just gotta jump into it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. 3, 2, 1, go! Great. 
this is the last really steep section. Oh, all of it's the target. Coming. How was it? Oh my god. That was fun. <laughs> it was fun. It looks it looks really painful yeah. Yeah. You did great. It's been too long since I've pushed that much <laughs> uphill. Okay, I wanna see if you got it. Check, check, okay. check, check. Yay! The crown is yours! Yay! <laughs> Great job! <laughs> I did not expect that, but that, that was impressive. really cool. Yeah. yeah. Congrats. I got a 632 as well. Oh, so. huge margin. Yeah. margin as well, yeah. Ah, that was fun. <laughs> but it looked pretty painful and now it's my time to push up this hill. Do you have any last minute tips for me? Yeah, don't think about the pain and just push hard. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I will do. See you on the top. <laughs> oh. say it was going to be this painful <laughs> <laughs> so much like the glasses oh, but it was fun it's fun with this short really all out hill, yeah, right. hill push oh. we need to check the wrestle right yeah i'm excited to see okay let's check if i managed to get it as well the crown is yours <laughs> four minutes and five okay. seconds both of us managed to complete the mission and get this uh, pretty extreme Strava course here. So that was a super fun little challenge and hope you liked watching this video as well. And as always, thanks for watching, train hard, have fun and I will see you in the next video.